lot of time with drunk people lately, and let me just tell you, they can be the best of times, they can be the worst of times. I had this really great idea that I was gonna do an episode while I was drunk, a la Jenna Marble style, but I realized quickly after collecting all the footage that the episode was really just gonna look like this. Let's go dancing! Yes! Are you mad at me? I just started thinking about stray animals and how they don't have any homes. So I decided to save everyone that hot mess, and instead bring you my top favorite things about drunk people. The first telltale sign, and one of my favorite moments to witness, it's when you're out with your friends and one of them starts swaying mid-sentence to the music. Now the music's been on at the bar all night, but for whatever reason, alcohol, this is the moment they miraculously start to hear it. Yeah, I love that movie. It had Meryl Streep in it. I love her. It honestly never fails to make me laugh. Because there's just nothing you can do about it. You just hit that moment where your body just feels the music. Wait a second, did I just start swaying mid-sentence? Which brings me to the most annoying thing that drunk people say. I'm not. <laughs> Drunk. As long as you're over 21 and not operating heavy machinery, why is being drunk such a bad thing? Also, I just watched you start swaying to music mid-sentence. So why is this an argument you want to pursue? But they always do. Which is why I give you another time-tested favorite to look out for, the double ask. If someone asks you the same question within five minutes, they're drunk. So where did you grow up? Yeah, things like that can be hard, and I don't really understand it. You never know. You have that apple orchard. I used to pick apples as a kid too. Where did you grow up? You're basically caught after you do that. And there's no way to get out of it. You're so, you're so right. I did ask you that already. Um, what I meant to say... Oh, what did I mean to say? It's at this point when you can just gracefully acknowledge that maybe you have had a few more drinks than you thought. And you can stop denying the fact that you are indeed drunk. And my all-time favorite thing that drunk people do? Using unnecessary hand movements. It can be a subtle difference if you think of someone like me who talks with their hands sober or not. But the difference is sober people talk with their hands to illustrate a point. Drunk people talk with their hands to emphasize a point. I'm still here and I'm still fabulous. Well, you better preach now. Right? Fabulous. Going with the wind, fabulous. Okay? Thank you. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all Friday.